Hi, I'm Dr. Phil Moore, and I'm a marriage expert here, and I've been helping save marriages for many years. But today, I'm bringing in two special friends that share a very unique outlook on marriages. You know what, guys? Why don't you just come on up right now and tell them all about it. Thanks for having us here today, Dr. Groper. Uh, it's Do Dr. Fillmore, sir. I'm sorry, that, that's our bad. That's our faux pas. I'm B-Money. Hey, and I have no sense. Hey, and we're here today to help you out with some killer marriage tips. That's right, you heard him. We have six killer marriage tips. Hey guys, before we get started, can we start with some killer music and some dance moves, you know, to get no, this thing no, started? No, no, no. This is a very serious event. We're helping save marriages, so let's just dive on in there, get down to the grindstone and work out some no, just, we'll do it real fast. No! Guys, this is a very serious moment here. This is people's marriages we're talking about. Whenever you get a chance, try and finish your wife's sentences for her. This lets your wife know that you know where she's going with a particular thought or subject. Yeah, like I love you, or I need you, uh, or you're predictable, but in a good way. Number two, keep a record of past wrongs. That way you have plenty of ammo for your next argument. Hey, let's do a little bit of role playing. All right, we're gonna show you how it works. Honey, why don't you raise a toilet seat up before you use the bathroom? Why don't you fill the car up with gas after you get home? That was four years ago! See? Number three. Use catchphrases to reinforce your point. Hey, how about we do a little bit more role playing? Alright. I'll start off. Okay. Here's an old classic. Sweetie, if it's a chore, it's yours. Or you can revamp it. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. You got any? Yeah, what, what about, uh, all you do is sit in front of the TV and eat Cheetos and want me to rub your nasty feet? That, that's not a catchphrase. That's, sure it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it no, is. No, you're ruining the video. Huh? Catchphrase. Come on. Number four. Use lots of comparisons. This helps your wife to set goals to reach for herself. Like compared to your mom, compared to your ex-girlfriends. To the Pilates teacher at the gym. You know. All of these things just help her to improve. Number five. During an argument, use the time while your wife is speaking to develop your comeback. So it works like this. You speak, then while she's speaking, you think. And then you speak again. And that is how the killer comebacks happen. Number six. You know, putting your kids in time out can be very effective for some parents, but putting your spouse in time out can also be very effective. Like putting her in time out can make her see a different point of view, preferably yours. And if you get any pushback, I'd let her know that you're having a hard time telling her apart from the children. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, that's classic. That's a good one. <laughs> guys, guys, seriously, these are terrible <laughs> tips. I think they could probably kill a marriage. She didn't like them either. Awkward. Yeah. But to uh, keep the video rolling and stuff, hey, can we end this in front of the sign with yeah. Six no, marriage guys, and I, I was a little uncomfortable. No, 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 no just we can end it with a robot. No, it was the robot. It, it was really kind of weird.